Saka Martinelli played in that game, though, which is the started. positive news to take from it. What was yeah. going to say, James? I think they started. Started. There you go. So, uh, looking at the World Cup and the impact from it, Jesus, big injury, out for a while. Saliba, not sure how, you know, or when he's going to return if he hasn't already. Today. Oh, well, today, that'll give him a... Well, that'll only give him a couple of days. So, I doubt... He has to start... Him. Sorry, he has to start against West Ham. Uh, the, the the pace at which I'm seeing players come back, you know, Rodri was in the starting eleven. Um, who else? De Bruyne, Gundogan. To, 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 to be fair, though, that they've been back at least a week. Ake, been, I mean, two, I mean, they were knocked out maybe two weeks ago. Uh, no, I appreciate, but they've also played a lot more football. So I, I would argue that mm. you know, get back a couple tra- You know, so when was the World Cup final? That was on Sunday. What day is it now? It's that Christmas period. I don't know what the hell's right, going on. It's Friday today. So, so it's been five, six days since the final. He's had five, six days off, and he's played 27 minutes of football across the World Cup. Um, I, I think he's got to play against West Ham, personally. I, I would be quite disappointed. That, that's not on him. That's not yeah. a, I'm putting pressure on you to turn up. Um, but just, I, I think, I'm more surprised that Ake would have, I think, played every minute of the tournament for... Um, the Netherlands, you know, through to the quarterfinals, they played two weeks ago and he's back, you know, 12, 13 days later playing in a Carabao Cup tie against Liverpool. That feels quicker to me than, yes, he, Saliba went all the way, but didn't play. He played 27 minutes and I feel like he should be available. I, am I being harsh? No, Listen, no, I, I, I agree. Want nothing no, on this, no. so I, I agree. I agree. Should have been I, back I, a couple I, of days ago. Yeah. But, you know, Friday's not, you know, he hasn't yeah, hardly yeah. played. Yeah. And Papi, he's back training. He's played every single minute. Yeah, but I don't right. want to get on Saliba. I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I genuinely have no idea what the protocol is or what they feel they need and adjustment and all that. I don't know. But no, I... you're, you're being nice there, James. But you're right. You're t- I totally agree with you. I, there's, there's no reason why he should be starting in that. I can't think of a reason why he should be, should be starting in that game. The only players, the only players that can maybe get a slight ex- extended stay are the players for Argentina. They're the yeah. only players for me that I think you can understand Alvarez might not be in the squad for Boxing Day or, you know, Messi. That, that, they're the only ones. And even then, if I'm their clubs, I'm saying you've had a week party in, get back to work now. You're not tired because this is a midpoint in the season. This is not a World Cup at the end of a season. Do you know what I mean? This this, 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 mm. is, this is the midpoint of the season. So, yeah. no, I, I think if Saliba's not in that team, I'm... So I'm fuming, but I'm 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 disappointed big time. There's no reason why Saliba and we need him. Let's have it right. We we, we need all the players we, that we can get from our first sl- team. So slightly concerning that the last 180 minutes of friendly football we haven't put it in the back of the net. Now I was, uh, I think, quite passionately defending you know the team when Lee was saying, "Listen, we can't all be saying our oh, momentum's great when we're winning friendlies, and then the minute we lose, it's what well, it doesn't matter." Um, you know. Two games in a row of not scoring a goal when we're going out with this sort of 11s that we're going out with. Okay, you start to wonder. Yeah. I there's nothing to panic about. But I think you do think, hmm, yeah, okay. Let's hope Let's hope we get a goal in that first half against West Ham. That's what I'm saying. Because then otherwise they think, then the doubts do start to just slightly creep in. When it gets to that 60th minute, we're like, when did we last score a goal? <laughs> you know, oh, in Dubai. <laughs> right. Like, you know, it does... I think it does start to play in your mind. And this is a young team. And I think there's been a fantastic momentum. But let's start really well against West Ham. I know we'll go into the previous stuff in a sec. Um, because I, I do think you just don't want that to become, you know, Jesus is injured. We don't score goals. And by the way, we looked really good against Juve and AC Milan and Leon, But still, let's nip that in the bud quickly. But we're going to the preview now. We already started. So I'm assuming by the conversation we're having so far, in terms of lineup. We're looking at Ramsdale. We're looking at Ben White, right back. Saliba, Gabriel, centre backs, left back. Any Zinchenko news? No, where? What? I don't. What? Where is he? I'm telling oh, you, I told you a few weeks ago. It's concerning. Yeah, it's concerning. Oh, we said it here, yeah, man. Should, should we just address this quickly for a second? We're talking about a guy who's injured. So I, I mean, you know, who knows? Injured while there's been no football. Listen, first and foremost, like. You know, I, I want him to be back and, and I hope he's all right and back soon. But it, it does raise a question why, it's not a Zinchenko thing, why Arsenal do seem to go through periods of time 
where fans don't really know what's going on with the fitness of certain players. Now, I don't really mind if you're trying to keep the opposition guessing, like, will he be back? Will he, you know, will he not? And then he is. And then it's like, you know, that, that I kind of get. But when it's like, well, Zinchenko, you know, should be a couple of weeks and he's out a month. Well, Smith Rowe, we didn't quite know what was going on with him. And suddenly he needs an operation. Tommy Asu was out for ages and we had no idea why. Like, these are very weird things. I don't actually know if keeping it secret does the club many favours. I think they think it gives them this kind of advantage. Well, I don't know what they think, but it's, I don't think it is an advantage. All the opposition don't know if Tommy Asu is going to be available. I, I don't know if it does. I think ultimately... He's been out for two months. Just tell us it's going to be another two. I, I don't. Do you, do you? I. What do you guys think of it? I just think it's strange. We don't know anything about Zinchenko. Well, well, the Zinchenko one worries me. You know, how can you get injured when you're not playing games of football? That's that is a worry. You know, I mean, it's a worry. I don't care. He has been training. Thinking. He has been training now. He's back in training now. But what also it would do for me, I, um, worries me. How the, 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 the team around and balance go there? Because you've got someone like Tierney, for instance, who's done really, really well. By the way, didn't play against the Luton. I don't know if that was a precaution oh, yeah. or, um, or he's injured as well. Like, But if you're playing week in, week out, doing all the stuff in Dubai and all that, and someone just keeps coming back in the team, right? Um, you're getting left out. Comes back in the team. Let's face it, you know, Tommy Asu was in that position and all of a sudden he comes back and he's in that position. Plays one game, which was the last game, and then he's let out again. He's not back in there again. All of a sudden, you start getting a little bit like restless, you know, teeny bit. Hold on a minute. Every, uh, what, this is not right. So I think, it, it, you know, these injury issues have got to be addressed. Tommy Asu, you know, the last time I see him, he was playing for Japan. Hasn't played a game, hasn't kicked a ball since. I don't know how long ago they were out of the World Cup, but no, that ain't right. That's not right. You know what I mean? Like, you know, for, for me, if you're not fit for Arsenal, you should not be a, available on an international stage. So if you've gone out there in the World Cup, you've declared yourself fit, you get yourself back here and declare yourself bloody fit as well. Because I tell you that now, Japan ain't paying him his wages. We are. So where is he? And I've just been a little bit fr frustrated with this and all that, like, you know. Um, too many too many of them. Shinchenko, you know, you can bring in Tierney into that mould as well, like, you know, I mean, if you want to. Tommy Esso, who hasn't played hardly at all. You know? And, and and to be honest, come in and when he has played, he's played left back. Leaving out a, a fully fit left back. So I, 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 I do worry about those sort of uh, things. Like get yourselves fit and, and may, maybe they're looking at them, just keeping them precautions so that they can be not rushing them back, like, you know. The Smith Row one, I, I'm going to say this now, the biggest disappointment for me of this, what the the pre-season friendlies or these friendlies and all that is that I've not seen his name on those games once. Once. So when does he come back and play for Arsenal against Tottenham away? Is that his first game? Manchester United at home? Is that his like Newcastle, Manchester City? You know, he has got to be on that team sheet for that Charlton game. Uh, sorry, for the Oxford game. He has got to be on that. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you know, when this is a worry for me, like, you know, a big, big worry, you know, like, yeah, um, that is a worry for me. But sorry, sorry to cut you down. No, no, no yeah, no, 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 no. but it's, it's more my frustration. Look, am I frustrated at players that are injured? Yeah, but it's not their fault. And it happens in football. The frustration is how little we know about it. And I guess my big question is, does, is there a benefit for the club to us not knowing about it. if there is then you know what we get on with it and we know we need depth anyway but I just don't know what us being kept so in the dark unless they really just don't know much from, unless Zinchenko was meant to be fit and has had setbacks and I think Arteta alluded to a Smith Rowe mini setback but said he's very very mm. close I mean that's all great but I think you know I, I remember even when we used to have all sorts of injuries like 2010 times we you know Fabregas Van Persie were always injured right but I think we largely knew when they were expected to come back. Yeah, um, that, they even had on the website, they had an injury list section. You know, it, it, it did. Which, is, which, which in itself is quite worrying. <laughs> you got well, a whole yeah. tab on yeah. the website for injuries. Yeah. <laughs> Catch up the he, should be flying injuries. he should be flying in these preseason games. He should be like, you know, he, 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 he come back for the last two games. You've had a little rest. You've got a bit of training. He should be flying. He should be. He hasn't played in the World Cup. And he's not there. 